I'm Kyati, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot an access denied error when you're trying to connect to an Amazon relational database service for MySQL instance using AWS identity and access management authentication. Let's get started. Here, as you can see, when I try to connect to the Amazon RDS instance using IAM authentication with the following command from an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance, I get the access denied error. To troubleshoot this error, log in to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the RDS console. Select the database that you're trying to connect to. Select the Configuration tab and check whether IMDB authentication is enabled or disabled. If IMDB authentication is disabled, then select the Modify button for the database instance. Scroll down to the Database Authentication options. Select the Password and IAM Database Authentication option. And then select Apply Immediately to complete the modification. Now, let's check the Configuration tab and we can see that IMDB Authentication is enabled. To connect to the Amazon RDS for MySQL instance from EC2 to check the connectivity again. Note that we are still getting the access denied error. Next, let's check the IAM role permissions. Navigate to the IAM console and then navigate to the IAM roles. Select the role that was attached to the EC2 instance and then select the policy that's attached to the role. In the policies JSON tab, make sure that the action is RDS-DB connect and the resource is your RDS information. In the resource, Provide your RDS instances region, account ID, DBI resource ID, and DB user details. When the policy is correct, check the connectivity again. Note that we are still getting the access denied error. Connect to your MySQL instance using admin privileges using this command. Run the following query to check whether the database user is configured properly. If everything is set up correctly, then the output will look similar to this. If the output doesn't match this example, then run the following query to grant the required permissions. This command creates a database user account that uses an AWS authentication token instead of a password. Run this command to require the user to connect to the database using SSL. When you have granted these permissions, try to connect again. Note that we are still getting the access denied error. So finally, let's make sure that we're using the correct connection string. We must use the Enable Clear Text plugin option in the connection string. The Enable Clear Text plugin syntax is used for passing the password acting as an authentication token. Also, let's make sure that we set the variables correctly by setting them as shown here. Then let's test the connectivity again. And now we can successfully connect to the RDS instance using IAM authentication. So now you know how to troubleshoot access denied errors when connecting to the RDS instance using IAM authentication. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>